What's up, guys? This is Justin. I'm here with James. What's up? Um, we are taking a look at Cut the Rope Time Travel. Yeah. This is out today on the App Store. James, you're doing a lot of the guide content for this. Um, a whole lot of the guide content. A whole lot of guide content. So have you played, you've played almost the entire game, right? I am up to Ancient Greece, actually. Yeah. Um, so uh, why don't you tell people, you, I don't know, I don't think you've, like, you're a Cut the Rope veteran, but, like, how is this game different than some of the other ones? Like, can we jump in and see yeah, some sure. of the new content here? Um, probably the best, actually, best place to start would be... So there's six sets of levels, and, you know, like the other Cut the Rope games, each one sort of has its own, uh, you know, gimmick or introduces, like, a new way to play or a new sort of puzzle mechanic. Yeah, um, I, I, I think, that, I mean, a lot of stuff carries over from the old ones, I'm assuming. But, I mean, it, off, like, right off the bat, like, right here. Um, boom. Yeah. You uh, got that time freeze. It's a time freeze. And then the, the, the one interesting thing that I didn't realize until I think about a couple of them is it also stops momentum. So, like, if right. I cut it, it just goes straight down. Right. And so that's used to solve puzzles. Um, and that's sort of, these are the 15 Renaissance levels. And they all sort of use this time freeze mechanic. And it pops up later. Like, the Cut the Rope games start super simple. And if you're, like, a core gamer, you're kind of like, oh, this is really basic. This is really simple. But then they'll introduce time freeze with bombs, and they'll introduce time freeze with portals, and like it all sort of builds on itself until by the end it actually is fairly complex. What I actually would uh, kind of analogous to like Portal, the yeah. game. Like I, I really like I, I the later levels kind of felt like you could you, you came they came up coming back to these concepts, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, those levels really simple. Yep. It's weird that this one comes so much later. <laughs> Um, but I guess we've sort of glossed over the big thing that's different about this game compared to the other Cut the Rope games is you have two Omnoms now. Two Omnoms and two candies. You have to get one in each Omnom. Um, he's a cute little dude. We'll go deeper in. Yeah, let's go deeper in. Um, and so that's really what separates this game from the other ones, and that's what, like, none of these puzzles could really be, they couldn't have used them in the other game because, uh, you know, th those games all, all focus around one Omnom. So this is, these are the ones where um, there's a little switch right here. Yeah, these um, I, th I think these levels are really actually pretty clever. Um, I believe this one. Um, it's oh, I see, I see. I already get it. Yeah, it's. Uh, so like you're gonna cut there. Drop. And and pop. Drop. Cut. Drop. You got it. And so this is uh, the fifth set of six levels. And if you if it wasn't super clear like what was going on there, what the mechanic of all these grease levels are, um, you have a switch that only one of the omnoms is visible at once. And so you need to be kind of clever about how you, uh, so see, once it hits that switch, you know, then it's flipping which one's available. And so you have to sort of think about how you're going to, oh, well, I missed, but people get the idea. Um, yeah. And uh, honestly, th these are the ones that I've been having the most trouble with just because it is such a, like, it's a couple of different steps. Oops, yeah. See, see they're kind of clever. Um, this game is 99 cents on iPhone, and I think it's one ninety nine on iPad. And you don't ever, like, you don't need to pay. Like, there's no in-app purchases that you have to pay for. If you do get, like, super, super stuck, they have this sort of, like, super powerful mode. Um, I should never use this. And it just, you can move the candy around at will, basically. Oh, okay. Like, you can do whatever you want with it, and it's sort of, like, impossible to fail. Mm -hmm. Um get it in his mouth. Where'd the other candy go? Oh, it's down there at the bottom. And so um, the one thing that I don't like about this sort of power-up is that it adds... Uh, gotta hit the switch. There we go. Is that it adds a fourth star. Mm -hmm. And so if you're like a super completionist, like you're super anal, you have to 100% every single game, you're going to need to buy these power-ups to get the fourth star. Right? On, on every single level? Yeah. But they don't cost... Actually, I don't know what they cost. Let's check. I guess I don't want to emphasize this too much because it's totally, like, you can totally play the entire game without, you know, without spending two or three bucks on these power-ups. Yeah. But, like, if you are someone that's like, oh, man, I got to get those four stars, you're going to be spending at least another ten bucks. Yeah. Um, that sucks. Yeah, it's, it's no fun. So this is, how many levels are there total? Uh, there's 15 and six levels, so that's, uh, let's see, <coughs> 90. 90 levels. 90 levels for a dollar, two dollars, you know, I think that's a great value. Um some people sort of make fun of iPhone games for their three star, like, you know, it's just like Angry Birds and Cut the Rope and Where's My Water, they all have the th this three star system. I like three star systems because that means the game can be accessible. Like, just beating the level is pretty easy, but getting three stars is usually like, it's like each level is almost like two separate puzzles, right? And it, it's, it's worth coming back to, like, I mean, doing guide content, guide content is a little different, but coming, coming back to something and being like, and then you like you come back a day later and you're like, oh, I know exactly how to get that third star. Yeah. Yep. For sure. It gives you, it, you know, it ups replay value. See, I actually don't even know how to get three stars on this one. I already screwed it up. All right, let's, let's break it so, down. 
I guess you just need to time it right so it flies into. Mm. There you go. See, because I only know how to, like, I would cut this. And there's two, but, like, I don't know how to get that third one. So I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming it's just timing based. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Probably when they both cross as, like, apex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, this is why you're better at this than me. Well, <laughs> except for missing the rope. My, my, oh, oh, and my mechanics are just... Sure. But that's an example of a level that's like, you kind of need to think about how you get that third star. Um, and that's also sort of the bombs, which I they might have appeared in another Cut the Rope game, but I think they're new too. And sometimes we will get levels that have bombs and the freeze ray, you know, and it's really pretty tricky stuff. Cut the Rope games are always really, really polished, and that's part of what I like about them. Um, and they do get more complex, like, so huh, we cut that, cut that. Oh, but I screwed up. Oh, there! Look at how sad the Om Noms are. H have you checked out the uh, the cartoons? Because I know they're they're staggering the release mm. of, of the little episodes. You yeah, can, you can see. Right, right. so there is there they are started adding more story to them. Um, you know, and this cartoon is out now. And then when does the next one come out? Oops. The next one comes out on May fourth. So yeah, they're giving people reason to sort of pop back into the app and watch some cartoons. Um, and they're pretty cute. Oh, but it's just gonna take us to YouTube. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. So this is Cut the Rope Time Travel. I'm impressed with it. You've played more than I. I mean, I do you like I it? I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I have having a, it just kind of, it, it's enjoyable. Yeah. In it, a very simple type of way. It's a no-brainer for a dollar or two, I think. Um, I am going to have a full review soon. I'm sort of playing through. I need to play through. I haven't seen The Last World yet. So, you know, I need to sort of make sure that, you know, Stone Age checks out. But, th you know, after that, I'm going to have a full review up. But, you know, if you're sort of going to grab one iPhone game this week, yeah, I mean, for sure, you should grab Cut the Rope Time Travel. Yeah. James, thank you for joining me. Thanks. E Thanks for having me. Everyone at home, thank you for tuning in. And uh, always remember that for all the mobile game hotness, you can keep it locked to IGN.